Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing great. I am Mrs. Ervi D. Umul, your chairman for Principal 3. It is my pride and honor to present to you San Francisco Elementary School School-Based Management Principal 3 Accountability and Continuous Improvement. Quality education is a goal shared by equally dedicated, reliable, and committed people of the school and the community with the needs of our clients that are continuously changing a clear, transparent, inclusive, and responsive accountability system is in place, collaboratively developed by the school community, which monitors performance and acts appropriately on gaps. Here is the structure of our humble and dedicated team. I will be presenting five means of verifications for Principal 3. The school constantly aims to achieve its goals by developing performance accountability system. For our first means of verification, our school's monitoring, evaluation, and adjustment. Here is our first attachment. We have our SMEA committee that includes structure, constitution and bylaws, and designation. For our next attachment will be SMEA meeting suite, school memorandum, agenda of the meeting, Minutes of the meeting, attendance, and pictures. We also have the SMEA plan with quarterly schedule of reporting to stakeholders and dissemination report relative to SMEA results. Next will be the quarterly SMEA results. We have the first quarter and the second quarter. Our last attachment for means of verification number one will be the report on mid-year assessment. As of quarter two of the present school year, four out of 15 school projects were already completed and the rest are ongoing. Through the years, we have learned that it is necessary for our school projects to be monitored and reported to our stakeholders in order to address gaps and gains. San Francisco Elementary School established different organizations to highlight the continuous enhancement of the learner's academic performance and the school's seamless operation. For our means of verification number two, school organizational structure. Here are some examples of our functional organizations, teams, and committee. We have the MPTA with the following attachments. Deped Order Number 67 Series 2009 Deped Number 54 Series 2009 Structure Roles and Responsibilities Designation, Oath of Office, Sample Pictures, School Memorandum, Invitation Letter, Minutes of the Meeting, Attendance, and Pictures. We also have the Supreme Pupil Government with the following attachments. The structure, Deped Order Number 47, Series 2014, Roles and Responsibilities, Designation, Oath of Office, School Memorandum, Invitation Letter, Minutes of the Meeting, Attendance, Pictures, 
process flow, action plan, progress report, and narrative report. Our next organization will be the School Quality Management System Committee. Structure, Constitution and Bylaws, Roles and Responsibilities, Designation, School Memo, Invitation Letter, Minutes of the Meeting, Attendance, Pictures, and samples of our process flow. For our matinee club, we have structure, constitution and bylaws, roles and responsibilities, designation, oath of office, school memorandum, invitation letter, minutes of the meeting, Attendance, Pictures, Program Completion Report. Next will be the School Quality Assurance Team with the following attachments. Structure, Constitution and Bylaws, Roles and Responsibilities, Designations, School Memorandum, Sample of scheduling of checking, progress report, pictures, sample evaluation tool for content for school-based video lesson, sample evaluation tool for content for school-based learning activity sheets. Let's have our school-based management team with the structures and charts. Constitution and bylaws, roles and responsibilities, designations, school memorandum, invitation letter, minutes of the meeting, attendance, pictures, and process flow. The table shows the different school organizations and the various school programs, projects, and activities they were involved. The accountability system that is owned by the community is continuously enhanced to ensure that management structures and mechanisms are responsive to the emerging learning needs and demands of the community. For our third means of verification, our feedback mechanism. We have our feedback and redress mechanism. Our first feedback tool will be the Facebook account of San Francisco Elementary School. They can write and post their comments, suggestions, and feedbacks. We also have the online client feedback form. With the summary of responses, analysis and intervention, and sample pictures. Next will be the online appointment schedule. With the summary of appointments made, and sample pictures catering our clients. Our next feedback tool will be the client's satisfaction survey, which we did via online and face-to-face. -face. We have the summary of responses from online survey and sample survey answered face-to-face. -face. We have the summary of suggestions from the survey forms and the action taken. We also have the analysis and intervention and sample pictures. We also have the survey questionnaires. And our example here is for the pupils. We also did it via online and we distributed survey questionnaire for pupils 
during the distribution and retrieval of modules. We have the summary of responses made online and samples of survey forms distributed to the pupils. We also have the summary of all the results and the analysis and intervention. And sample pictures. And for our suggestion box, we have samples of suggestions. The summary of suggestions and action taken. Pictures. We have an example here on how we take actions to the suggestions made. The table manifested the comparison of our feedback mechanism for three consecutive years. Our school welcomes suggestions and feedbacks to make sure that we provide service with 100% efficiency, accuracy, and courtesy. The school recognizes the outstanding performances and contributions of its stakeholders. Let's have our number for means of verification, the stakeholders' recognition. Let's start with our internal stakeholders, our diligent learners. We have the DepEd Order number 36, Series 2016. The school memorandum, quarterly recognition, list of awardees, sample certificates, pictorials, and activity completion report. We have also recognized our outstanding teachers. We have the criteria. School Memorandum, the Ranking, Semestral Teachers Recognition and Pictorials, List of Awardees, Sample Certificate, Activity Completion Report. Our next attachments will be the recognition of our active and supportive parents. We have the rubrics, school memorandum, semestral parents recognition, list of awardees, sample certificates, pictorials, and the accomplishment report. We have also recognized our generous external stakeholders. We have the list of awardees, sample certificate, pictorials, rubrics, and accomplishment report. The pie charts presented the comparison of our parents and external stakeholders recognition for the school year 2018 to 2019, 2019 to 2020, and the present school year. We have learned that recognizing our stakeholders encourages and inspires them to do more and perform better for the school improvement for the welfare of our learners. The school is committed to provide quality education in order to produce productive individuals in the community. Our means of verification number five is school performance and accomplishment. Our attachment is the school report card which was accomplished for quarter one and two. That will be all for our school-based management Principle 3, Accountability and Continuous Improvement. Thank you so much. Let's all keep safe and healthy. God bless us all.